Following Saturday's deadly shooting at the Tree of Life Synagogue, acts of love and kindness are emerging. Look at this picture tweeted by CBS News radio correspondent and Pittsburgh native and also a dear friend, Bill Rakoff. A young boy brought cookies and a note, handwritten note to police yesterday. With the photo, Rakoff wrote, man, is this picture ever Pittsburgh? People are also leaving flowers and other mementos at the site of the shooting. Megan Schiller is outside Tree of Life Synagogue with more. Good morning. The crime scene tape is still up and officers from Pittsburgh City Police sit in their patrol cars at every intersection nearby. Police Chief Scott Schubert and Director of Public Safety Wendell Hisrich are here giving interviews to the national media. The memorial that is directly below the Tree of Life Synagogue continues to grow. Flowers, candles, and a star of David bearing the name of each of the 11 victims. For at least the next week, the crime scene will be blocked off, and they say that this is a very complex crime scene that will take a while to process. The narrow streets surrounding this intersection still blocked with police cruisers. They are asking for everyone to have patience if you live or work in the area, considering they expect them to be blocked off for quite some time. Schools across the area held a moment of silence at the start of school and also all of the school children who normally would catch a bus here at the corner of Wilkins and Shady have been told to instead move their bus stop for the time being to the intersection of Northumberland and Shady. Reporting in Squirrel Hill, Megan Schiller, KDKA TV News.